Hello and welcome to Super Sports Women TV. Nat Edwards and Mel Jones with you. MJ, let's kick things off with some triathlon news. And Erin Densham, she's really pushed her case for Olympic selection. She's backed up her win in Malula about three weeks ago with a victory in Sydney. And she really ran a fantastic race, especially in that run leg. Well, there's only three spots there for, for the girls for the London Olympics. And you're right, she's putting her hand up at the right time. She didn't have a great swim, but the run leg was absolutely magnificent. She overpowered two of the favourites for the gold medal in Jenkins and Hugh it as well and I suppose it's a little bit of a, a feel-good story too because she is coming back from that congenital heart condition as well so yeah. all boding well at the moment for her. Now Emma Moffat finished 13th and uh, Emma Snowsill the defending Olympic champion finished in 14th and she struggled with uh, a little bit of illness as well in recent weeks and is really pushing it to make that team. Well like we said you know it's such a hard-fought competition for, for females in, in the triathlon so still got another couple of opportunities but she's really going to have to get over that illness if she's going to have a really good shot at it. All right let's talk about some athletics and Melissa Breen we spoke about her last week the stall gift winner she's fallen just short of getting that a standard qualifying time that she needs in the 100 meters and that time is 11.29 seconds and she ran a PB in the semi-final of 11.31 just a little short. It's just amazing we, we mentioned last week just how strong she looked at yeah. stall she's certainly taken that form into the competition over the weekend and she is just so tantalizingly close she does have so a close. couple of opportunities yeah. now so she can go to uh, to camp and also to Hong Kong and you're just hoping I think that the field that she's racing against are just a little bit closer to her just to get her over the line. Yeah hopefully they can push her along now. Tamsin Manu also ran over the weekend and she picked up another 800 metre national title. She's just a phenomenal athlete but again fell short about three seconds short of that A standard qualifying time. Yeah took in a little bit of a calf injury into the meet so that certainly is going to probably you know pull her back from yeah. that, that qualifying time but at 33 and it was her last nationals I'm thinking that she's certainly got a little bit left in the tank and uh, don't count her out just yet. We won't indeed. Now the Hockey Roos unfortunately they've lost the Four Nations Test Series final to New Zealand. They lost 3-2. It was a pretty close game but they went into the final undefeated. They certainly did and I suppose that's a little bit of the frustrations there for the, the Aussie coach in, in Cummins who said that he was really wrapped with the girls form mm. leading in. They had great wins over America, New Zealand and India but just pulled up short in the final against New Zealand. I suppose also he was pretty wrapped with the form of um, Jody Schultz scoring yeah. three goals over the she over the fantastic. tournament but they do now go to Auckland and have another chance in the same no format rest. to uh, to go again so there you go oh well they'll be well prepared then for That's the it. London <laughs> Olympics all right and we should mention of course that the Northern Mystics and the Melbourne Vixens are undefeated in the ANZ championships after three rounds they're the only ones left standing and I don't think anyone would have predicted that I don't think most people <laughs> had money on those two being undefeated but uh, well done to them they've been playing out of their skin at the moment and they'll be hoping they can continue that form this weekend all right and we'll have more ANZ championships news during the week so stay tuned to Super Sports Women TV for more videos and we should mention as well um, some best wishes for the Australian Fed Cup team led by Samantha Stozer they take on Germany in the Fed Cup World Group playoff over the weekend so good luck to the girls there for all the latest sports results you can check out supersportswomen.com.au don't forget to check us out as well on Facebook and Twitter and MJ and I will be back again next week see you next week